Okay, today we're going to talk about a perpendicular bisector, and I'm going to show you how to find the perpendicular bisector using just a straight edge, a pencil, and a compass. So by the perpendicular bisector theorem, we know that any point, when we have a segment with points A and B here, any point that is equidistant from both points, both of these endpoints, will be on the perpendicular bisector. So let's go ahead and create that perpendicular bisector. What we want to do is take our compass, anchor it, center it at point A, and open it up so that it's at a point a uh, little bit past the, the halfway mark. And go ahead and scribe an arc centered at point A. Now we're going to go ahead and change over and center our compass on B and do the same thing, scribe an arc. We've now just created a point, we'll call that point P1. We know that it's equidistant from both A and B, so it's got to be on that perpendicular bisector. Let's go ahead and do the same thing now on the other side of the line. We'll center at point A, scribe an arc, and center at point B, and scribe an arc. Again, we've created a point right here that we'll call point P2, and that point P2 is equidistant from both of these endpoints, A and B. So we know that falls on the perpendicular bisector. So now we can go ahead and connect those two points, P1 and P2. with our straight edge. So now we have a line that is our perpendicular bisector because we have these equidistant points from the endpoints. We've created a right angle and we can also say if we call this uh, intersection in the middle point C, we can say that segment uh, CB is congruent to segment CA. And there is our perpendicular bisector.